1916, a group of psychologists came together, actually it was 1921, a group of psychologists came together to come up with a single definition of intelligence. And there were something like 21 people involved in that. They went away with 21 definitions, and that's where we are today. We have as many definitions of intelligence as we have measures of intelligence. But there is some general understanding of what intelligence is, and that is it's the ability to reason, it's the ability to think, it's the ability to recall information. And there are um, multiple levels of intelligence. Uh, it's, it's actually quite hierarchical. There's general intelligence. If you think about it as a global area, general intelligence is like your overall ability to function in, in life. Your ability to go to work, come home, solve problems, figure out which bills you're going to pay and when you're going to pay them, and that sort of thing. But that global intelligence is made up of sub-areas. So in addition to global intelligence, what contributes into that are areas like verbal functioning, your verbal comprehension, and verbal fluency, reasoning ability, mathematical ability, quantitative ability, um, reasoning, spatial ability, uh, perceptual speed. And we can go all the way around and add uh, multiple components that contribute to that. So where you are in terms of your definition of intelligence is some people are the G people, the general intelligence, and say, yeah, this is what's most important. Others say, no, some of these sub-areas are more important. And so that's where the, dis the disagreement comes in. I, I tend to think of myself as a G-man, and that is that general intelligence is the uh, most important.